What I teaching? Beginners level two. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate the position inside and outside. Uh, you are going to grab my neck, how we say in earlier videos, on the top, bringing the forearm there, and this is inside position. My hands is in the outside position. You all has advantage because you can pull my head back. So what we do is my hands are outside. I, I cannot pull him because his arms not allowed to push. So what I need to do is I need to put my hands inside to be able to have a better grip. So we are going to make a few steps. First, when he put me down, I'm going to put the hips forward and look a little bit up. I'm controlling as well the head. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna liberate one hand, to put it outside. I'm gonna trap with, the, with my chin, and I'm gonna put the hand inside. And when I'm here, I'm gonna slide in, and I have one of the arm already inside. I'm gonna make the other one. Grab here, three, four. Now my position is inside. This position is outside. This position is the best to move his head around, and his head has much power that hand that is outside. So he's gonna do the same thing. With this hand, he's going to, one, trap my arm so I cannot remove it while he's putting the arm inside, and from there he can slide in his hand, then the other hand, I want to remove, no allow me, put the hand inside, grab, and there. And then he pull down, when he pulled down, I go forward, I look up, and I do the same thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I pull down, and I pull up. The same thing, one, two. Yes, this will become a drill. are close. As we said, the person that controls the head controls the body. So the person that is inside has advantage over the person that is outside. So uh, the dominant position is inside. So we should fight to get that position because the best strikes with the knee coming from there. Thank you.